The video you're going to watch on potty training your puppy comes from my website, theonlinedogtrainer.com, where you can watch over a hundred videos for just a single dollar. The key to success is realizing that, like young children, puppies are not able to hold on for long. So you have to make sure your puppy's outside every time it needs to go. That's right, when it comes to toilet training, the emphasis is firmly on you. You're going to have to make sure that your puppy is always in the toilet area when he needs to go. So the first thing in the morning, take your puppy straight outside to the area you need to go and say the word that you want him to associate with toileting, such as toilets. Here, young Alex the Spoodle is in the right area, and now it's just a matter of time. He's due to go. It's been two hours since he last went, and that's about the right length of time that he can hold on for. Much younger puppies may only be able to hold on for maybe even 15 or minutes or half an hour. Now we're going to wait calmly in the area, suggesting every now and then that he goes to the toilet by saying toilets. For the time being, his toilet area is anywhere on the grass. It's a waiting game. To start with, you sometimes have to wait and be quite patient. If you're not and you start to become stressed because you're in a rush, your puppy can quickly pick up on the stress and become tense and unable to go. Here's a few tips to think about. First of all, make sure you've all decided on the same word. There's nothing more confusing for your puppy than everybody saying a different word when she has to go toilet. Secondly, use a leash. If your dog's charging round and, and isn't in the right area, put a long line on them. Thirdly, use the same area. Go to that area and your dog will associate that area with going to the toilet. Fourthly, stay calm at all times. This will really help your puppy. No, but stop now it's a bit of a waiting game. We've been outside maybe five or six minutes. We're at the stage now where we're thinking, is he really going to go? And you feel like giving up sometimes. But hang on in there. If you have been outside for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, then take your dog inside, put them in maybe a crate or a penned area, a safe place, or put them on a surface which is easy to clean, and try again half an hour later. But then suddenly, hang on. Good boy, Alex. Toilet. Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy. You've normally got to run Good around boy. a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. Brilliant. We hit the jackpot. This is when you immediately reward your dog by giving it lots of praise and affection and you give him a treat. Something really, really special that he never gets unless he goes to the toilet outside. That's the key. Let's have a look at some of the things that we did to succeed. Things that you need to do every time. First of all, number one, plan. Make sure your dog is in the right area when it needs to go to the toilet. That's your responsibility. Once your dog starts toileting inside, there's nothing you can do. If necessary, set up a planner. Write down the hours of the day and the times the dog went to the toilet and work out when it's going to have to go next. If necessary, set an alarm or a pinger or a timer to remind you. Secondly, prepare. Have your treats ready. Maybe leave them outside in a jar. It's so easy to get to the toilet area and then suddenly realize that you've forgotten them. It's too late then. Remember to bring that leash down, that long line. If your dog is one of these dogs who will run off into the wrong direction, wrong area. And make sure you have the time to do this. That you're not in a rush, rushing out the door ready to go for work. You need to be able to say the word toilets nice and gently. And thirdly, praise your dog as soon as it goes to the toilet in the right area. With lots of affection and of course treats. You should make it so that your dog thinks, if I go to the toilet on the grass, I get the most amazing piece of chicken. It never gets chicken for just lying in its basket and looking cute. That's working against you. Make sure you save that chicken and your dog realizes that it's only going to get chicken if it goes to the toilet on the grass. That's positive reinforcement. It would be wonderful if there was a magic wand we could wave at our puppy and it instantly became toilet trained, but there isn't. Toilet training is exactly that. It's training, and training generally takes a bit of time. The key is to get it right for a few days without a single mistake, and then you stretch it out to a couple of weeks, and then suddenly you realize you've cracked it. There's a whole load more tips and techniques that you can use to, to help toilet training issues and all sorts of other puppy and dog training issues on my website, theonlinedogtrainer.com 
and I've made it so that you can view the entire lot for seven days at just the cost of just one dollar. So take a look, theonlinedogtrainer.com.